Is it possible for a semi-detached bungalow to feel like a single family home? It is when luxurious reality transcends old school perceptions. A large foyer, soaring ceilings, and hallways that lead to defined living spaces, all features found in traditional single-family homes, which are standard in Solaris Hermitage, a semi. Welch of Larka Homes, and this is Solera's designer, Anna Riapel. Anna, I cannot believe that I am in a semi-detached home right now. It is so spacious in here. It really is unbelievable. It's a very grand, spacious home. From the moment you walk through the oversized front door into the very wide grand foyer, it really is a wow factor. People are quite shocked when they see the space of this home. The width of the space is impressive. The ceiling heights are amazing, with nine feet as the basic ceiling height, and then they soar from there in separate coffer details. It really is a grand space. When I first walked through it, I was just blown away by the fact that it's not just width-wise, but every single room you go into, the ceiling gets higher and higher. There's a lot of attention to ceiling details in this house. I think also the windows play up to that as well, in that they're very large and the light just beams through. I can see myself having a big party in here with all my friends and not feeling crowded at all. I know you could have a big party in here. <laughs> One detail that people might overlook, in this room there's a sofa that goes across the width of the room. In most semi-attached homes that would be impossible. And in here there's tons and tons of space around even with that sitting there. Yeah, there's space to spare after it. Just brilliant. Now who do you see in this home? I could see somebody that's used to a very, very large home that wants to downsize somewhat, but still wants an elegant, impressive decor. Also, you could have somebody that's upsizing, a professional couple that would like to have something a bit more special. So this, for me anyway, is way more luxurious and spacious than other builders' homes that I've seen that are single family homes. It really is. Again, here in the kitchen, I would swear that I was in a full-sized home. Well, I think the reason for that is the floor plan itself. With the kitchen being located right off of the front hall, at the front of the home, it distinguishes itself differently than other homes of the same style. It has amazing amount of storage capability, the countertop space you don't see in most semi-homes. It works really nicely. And I can't get over the ceilings. They just keep going up and up in every room. Well, the ceilings start at nine feet and then go up from there. So in this area, over the prep area, the coffered ceiling works nicely to distinguish itself separately from the eating area. And then we've got the light, these beautiful windows that mirror the one at the back. The windows are quite a draw in this home. In the kitchen area, you just want to sit in front of this window for a long, casual meal with your family. It just works nicely. It really does. And Larko hasn't forgotten anything. You've got a laundry room here as well. There's a full laundry room, a full mud room, located right off of the garage and off of the main hallway. It works wonderfully for everyday chores like bringing in groceries, for putting away cleaning supplies. All the details have been thought out. I can't get over it. It, it absolutely looks like a full family home. That was the idea. Ugh. It's because of the little things like the niche. I just find that Larco puts those in and it makes a house a home. Well, those details we are proud of and they are details that are noticed. 
I think when you walk down the hallway into the master bedroom area, you're blown away by what you see. You have a great bow window, a bench seat, wonderfully sized room, a great ensuite bathroom, and a fantastic walk-in closet. Yeah, stop it with the walk-in closet. It's bigger than most rooms in my house. It is. But plus, there's a second bedroom here. There is a second bedroom. What we've done in this home is we've changed that bedroom into a library area with built-in cabinetry from wall to wall to showcase one's library. It works very nicely and offers a wonderful retreat for somebody to go and read a book. So the bathroom off that room, though, is a full bathroom, so it could be used as a second bedroom as well. Absolutely, it's a full three-piece bathroom with bathtub and shower. Now there's a surprise here too, though, because there's a third bedroom. Well, there's lots of surprises when you walk down the stairs to the lower level. You're blown away by the size in general. The family room is a big room with high ceilings, great big windows, a wonderfully sized bedroom, as you mentioned, and a great bathroom with two separate sinks. People are using the area very successfully to entertain short-term guests, long-term guests, and still maintain a wonderful sense of privacy upstairs in their home. Which is just unheard of in a semi. It really is. Looking like a two-story home on the outside and feeling just as spacious on the inside, Solera's Hermitage has redefined the conventional semi. Compromise Living and Lifestyle, Solera by Larco Homes.